Google has created an important tool to help you understand your app better when building UI Automator scripts. This tool is called UI Automator Viewer. Let's show you how it works. First, you plug in your Android device. Make sure your Android version is 4.1 or newer on that device, or this won't work at all. With that done, let's start up the UI Automator Viewer. Mine is located in my ADT bundle directory. Now we click this little button and UI Automator Viewer takes a screenshot and analyzes the screen that I'm on right now. And there we have it. On the left is the screenshot of my device on the moment that I click the button. If we start an application on my device and take another screenshot, you can notice the change. Obviously now, you probably realize that this is not live. Only a snapshot with a few extra features. So on the left side is the device snapshot. On the right is the various objects that we have visible in this activity. Let's take a look at a more applicable application. Hello Evernote. So as you move your mouse over the snapshot, you'll notice it highlights various areas. For those of you using Firebug, this is a lot like the Inspect Element button. If I click on one of the items located here, I can load its various node information and see where it is in the activity and the structure. And this works for just about anything on the screen. You may have found a few hidden things that you may have not noticed yet. This program is helpful for those wanting to create UI Automator scripts as it is using the accessibility attributes throughout the construction of these tests. As you probably have guessed, these scripts can work across your applications too, not just in the application level itself. It's very handy. This is a big advantage over Rebodium tests, as Rebodium tests are only used within an application itself. UI Automator scripts are also fast too, so that's another great advantage. However, Revodium has its features too, for example, with hybrid applications. But don't worry, you can use Google's UI Automator scripts or the Revodium tests in the same interface in cloud.testread.com. You can send these scripts, whether they be Revodium or UI Automator, to the server, and it will test on many devices at once in the cloud. You can also send your application, and we will build and run tests for you using AppCrawler, which does a lot of the testing for you,